Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a very special Toshiba laptop. This is part of the Satellite L500 family. This is a Toshiba Satellite L505D with a whole bunch of other numbers after that. This computer was kind of like made around 2009-2010 with Windows 7. I think a couple of them had Vista as well, but they kind of transitioned formally into Windows 7, of course. This computer was pretty much designed for like light office work, mostly home users, students, and media playback. It's not a business machine. It's not, you know, it's not a gaming laptop. It's just a normal everyday PC. These units shipped with either like an AMD Athlon 2 or Turan 2 dual core, ATI Radeon graphics with an AMD chipset. Uh, RAM was either between like three gigs or four. I think it was DDR2 as well. This computer I think has the 320 gigabyte mechanical HDD inside and it's got a 15.6 inch display. We're going to take a look at that in a second. And that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. The original retail price was between $550 to $700 for this dinosaur, which is crazy actually. Let's dive down into it. Let's take a look at it. Does it still work? Can we get a two run right? Let's look. Look at that. Yep, that's a laptop. I guess I could type on that. That doesn't seem too bad. The trackpad is kind of interesting. It's not like this gloss, you know? It's it's where my, you know, gloss, I don't know if you, I guess shiny, but you can like just kind of cruise over that, you know? Those are kind of nice. Got these two speakers up here. You got power button, all that stuff up here. I just absolutely love these screens. They have so much glare that it's like impossible to see what's going on the screen. All you see is me in the background. So I turned the lights off, make this easier. Um, press the power button. Nothing happened. Press it again. Oh, okay, we got a couple lights. I heard some noises. Oh, fans loud. That's good. Okay. Oh, seamless battery failure. We'll press F1 to continue for that one. Ooh, Windows Air Recovery. You know, something went wrong. We'll start Windows normally first. Nothing like Windows 7, am I right? Okay, got us some better light. That's going to be so much better. Okay, so it says preparing the desktop. Interesting. Factory reset. Sounds about right. Sometimes there's issues with factory resetting, though. Sometimes things go wrong, and this could be one of those things. That's what our issue is, isn't it? So it starts to go through this configure the system, and it freezes, doesn't it? That's our issue. That might be our problem. Start off like that. We're going to immediately press F8. I'm going to try to boot into safe mode and see if we can fix this issue. It looks like that's what our problem is. We are going to do, um, we'll do safe mode with command. Let's just do normal safe mode. Start low. Ooh, yeah, is it getting stuck at low in safe mode? I mean, I assume it only needs basic things, but we're going to let it do its thing. Tell you what, safe mode will never be the same after Windows 7. This was the best kind of uh, safe mode. What is this? Guest? Okay. Okay, it's loading in. It's loading in. All right, so we've got a media, oh, media controller, okay. Uh, media recovery creator, so that's good to have. Uh, we don't need that. Time clock is set to 2009, sounds about right. Um, I want to do, go to um, create and format hard disk partitions. I want to see if the recovery partition is still there there healthy recovery part and there's this one that's weird let's go into file explorer and see what we can see oh it's weird yeah it doesn't show it there huh recovery partition says it's healthy and then there's this primary partition and then healthy that's this weird partition that's over here i don't know what that's for this one looks like a recovery partition on the same disc so there should be something there yeah that's a Toshiba satellite, for sure. Four gigabytes of RAM, and we have Toshiba right down here, which is good to know. It is a Turan, too. 
dual core mobile m500 see if we can boot into recovery mode again see if we can just completely factory restart factory reinstall again press that again i'm gonna hold down zero I'm sure this is what you're supposed to do it sounds like a weird key I'm gonna hold down zero this time while pushing the power button. I think I wasn't doing that properly. Hopefully it'll let us do it. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Recovery of factory default software. Recover to out of box state. I think that's what we want. We want to recover. Recover to out of box state. System recover options are included. Okay. Next. Recovery of factory default software. Start the recovery of default soft. That's software, but hopefully that's um reinstalling the entire system i assume now if for some reason i can't get it to do this and we get stuck in the same kind of loop that we were in before i should be able to create recovery media within safe mode like a thumb drive or something like that and then we can try recover it through the thumb drive i know it sounds just crazy out of whack. Well, we're going to give that a try and see if that can get us where we need to go. I'm going to let this sit here and do its thing. We'll see what happens. It was going great. And then froze. CPU is incredibly hot. Force shut this down. Hey everyone, I don't even remember what I filmed in the last clip because of the issues that we were having with Windows 7. We're just going to completely install something completely else because Windows 7 is out of date. We don't need it. Yes, we love Windows 7. We're going to install the latest version, which is Linux Mint. Actually, it might be one behind, but it's going to be Linux Mint, uh, the X64 based edition. We're going to install that on this and call it a day. So let's go ahead and do it right now. Well, everyone, so I wanted to install Windows 7 Home Premium back onto this machine, but I also wanted to try and install Linux Mint onto this machine, but it won't let me boot it. And this is the legacy version to where it can boot into legacy mode. So I don't know what's going on here, but this system is super strange, super strange. I'm going to cut it off here. Y'all let me know down in the comments down below. What do you think is going on with this system and can and what can we do? Because I'm willing to do anything. But other than that, this is a great little laptop. Well, I don't know about little, but it's a great laptop and want to continue to use it. So everyone, want to say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.